In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Chinese red flower oil we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about all of its uses, why you'd wanna use this over other medicines that are out there on the market for martial artists. And I'll give you a bit of advice of how and when to use it. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, click the subscribe button down below, subscribe to this video and get all the latest videos on all the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Chinese red flower oil we have for sale at Enzo. So you know, there's lots and lots of people within the martial arts community that don't really like to talk about injuries. They like to think that martial arts you know, makes you impervious to injuries and you're never gonna get them. And you know, all you need to do in the world is martial arts and you'll be absolutely fine. Well, unfortunately the reality is we're all gonna get injured at some point. Now it might be like minor injuries from bruises or it might be really big sort of nasty stuff that you unfortunately have to carry for life um, and then it's all about sort of maintaining your training and adapting your training so you can keep up your martial art practice so it's sad to say that martial arts does have its faults and injuries are going to happen and i guess this is what's happened this is going to happen with any sport really or just day-to-day -day living you are going to get injured but there are some medicines out there that are very well known within the martial arts community that really do help with some of the kind of more common injuries that you're gonna get while training. So I think the medicines that are available, certainly that we have for sale here at Enzo, kind of fall into two categories. You get ones that are cooling and ones that are heating. So this Red Fire Royal here is for heating. Now why are those, there's two distinctions, what, what's that all about? Well, the cooler ones tend to deal with like inflammation, area where you've got loads of heat, loads of blood running to that area very, very quickly. You've got loads of swelling and inflammation. Uh, you might have lots of fluid, etc. And the cooling ones are very good for that. Now what tends to happen after that is that you'll get loads of bruising, you might get very, very sore muscles, very aching muscles, loads of bruising. Um, and this is something where the heating medicines really come into their own. There's loads of different sort of types of injuries that you get, but basically where you want to increase blood flow, you want to get lots of like goodness to that area where there's a problem, the heating medicines are absolutely brilliant for that. So say for instance, you've gone over on your ankle, you've gone over on your ankle, you've got lots of swelling. Do you want to put red flower on that straight away? No, absolutely not. It's not, like in modern medicine they tend to ice things and we have cooling medicines that you can put on that like the dip dar and the and the white tiger balm very very good for that but then over time you're gonna that's all gonna the swelling's gonna go away you're gonna get lots of bruising and you're gonna get sort of possibly sore tendons sore ligaments things like that red flower oil is the perfect perfect um you could say complementary medicine but it's definitely a very good medicine to put on that problematic area. So how does it do this? Well, it increases lots of heat in that area. So if you've got something like bruising, a lot of stale blood that's just kind of hanging around doing no good, you increase heat, you get more blood flow to that area and it helps move all that stale blood. If you've got something like ligaments and tendons problems, uh, say people get tennis elbows, problems with their elbows in martial arts, problem with their knees, again, it's just getting loads of heat into that area helping lots of blood flow and blood's full of really really useful healing properties loads of white blood cells that get pushed into that area and then can have a really good healing effect so that's basically what you want from red flower is to get all that blood into that area now another thing that a lot of people suffer from is sore muscles so if you've overtrained a bit too much or you're getting back into martial arts and you're you're building up to get back to like normal fitness your muscles can get really really sore and tight i mean even just in daily life people are sitting at computers like this all day and the shoulders and the neck are getting very sore again there's not much blood flow going on because the muscle's so tight and it's just gonna stay like that. Muscles are a bit like computers or robots, they just kind of do what they're told. So if they're not getting told to relax, they won't. They'll just stay really, really tense. Now, 
something like red flower oil, getting loads of heat into that area, really helps relax those muscles and, and, and helps get rid of the pain from those tired muscles. So let's just have a look at the red flower here so you can see it comes in a nice, pretty much, unless if you're Chinese, Chinese reading's good, almost unreadable box, but um, very authentic looking. And it comes in a nice, fancy glass bottle. Now, all of the red flowers that we've had, we've had different brands over the years, and it kind of comes down to availability. So different brands pop up and disappear, and it sometimes can be really hard to get it. So we go for what we can get, but red flower oil is, you know, pretty much red flower oil, and I'm sure out in China people have their preferred brands, but over here it's much, much harder to get, and we have we have had problems over the years sourcing it. We've now got a pretty good supplier of red flower, so it should be, fingers crossed, a fairly consistent supply from now on. But yeah, you get a nice 25 milliliters of red flower oil, and, and it's really, really good stuff. Now, red flower oil is pretty strong. It's, it's not the type of thing you just want to lather all over in an area. You only need a tiny little bit of it. Now, this is good because it means the bottle you buy will last a long, long time, but you can use it very, very sparingly. So you only need a tiny little bit and you'll be amazed at how much heat you get into that area. So people do ask, oh, can only certain martial arts use these? Can only the Chinese martial arts use these? No, absolutely not. It, it doesn't work like that. But anyone who's got a problem where you think you want heat in an area will definitely benefit from red flower oil. So any of the martial arts, or even if you've got like a family member or a friend that's struggling with a problem and you think something like this would work it's definitely worth them giving it a go so at Enzo we like to think we've got a pretty good selection of medicines here for martial arts so as well as the red flower oil we also have the pretty famous and extremely strong woodlock oil two types of tiger balm one for heat one for cold we make our own dip dar jiao which is really good for cooling we have the extremely popular Thai liniment for Thai boxing. And we sell these very cute and very little dragon and tiger bombs. So that's all there is to say on the on the red flower rule really. If you've got any questions, definitely drop a comment below. I do my absolute best to answer them for you. Um, I hope I've explained it well. I'm not a Chinese herbalist, but it's definitely worked for me in the past and I've seen it help a lot of, lot of people. So if you think it might be useful for you, give it a go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Chinese red flower oil we have for sale here at Enzo Martial Arts. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate you click the subscribe button and get all the latest videos from us here at Enzo Martial Arts on all of the products we have for sale. Thanks very much. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.